Hello, Sylvie. I'm so happy that you have accepted my invitation for this podcast. My guest is uh, Sylvia Vizian, uh, a professional architect designer who has vast amount of experience in uh, the UAE landscape. She designed uh, incredible number of buildings uh, which actually are uh, built. And I'm so proud to call her friend. Yeah. And um, uh, I hear that you have big plans for Dubai. Can you please share it with me? Yes, of course. Thank you for the introduction. You know, we've been living here for 14 years, then moved back to Hungary for a number of years. And then we made a big decision to move back again to Dubai. This time it won't be Abu Dhabi, it will be Dubai. And uh, the reason is because it's a huge opportunity. There are many opportunities in UAE and uh, in Saudi Arabia and other countries around us. Amazing. And why Dubai? Dubai has a different uh, challenge, a different development than Abu Dhabi. You know, we met in Abu Dhabi so many years ago, and I was always fan of Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi has a more conservative approach, as always, and uh, Dubai is much faster than ever before. I can see the difference before we left, and now it is really tremendous growing. Within we just love it. <laughs> and within how many years we are talking about this? Six years ago we left. So, so you see a huge difference from six years ago to now. Exactly. Imagine what will happen in six years. Wow. Yes. <laughs> we cannot even imagine, I yes, guess. Exactly. Yes. And um, you as a, a beautiful lady, how do you feel? How safe do you feel in the UAE? Absolutely. Perfectly. And uh, it is a very safe country. First of all, everybody is happy on his own or on her own place. And on the other hand, the security and safety is controlled by the government. So it has such a strong, powerful system built by this country, which gives every citizen an amazing security, absolute safety in terms of every level, from the financial perspective to the nightlife. So it is such a free country. And on the other hand, absolutely controlled in terms of security. So many opportunities and it's just lovely to be here. Amazing, thank you. And now you as a businesswoman, how easy do you find it to do business as a lady? Uh, because I, I get this uh, criticism a lot yeah. that uh, in, in an Arab country, you as a woman can do nothing. So how do you feel or what's your experience, hands-on experience? I think our feminine power or girls' power is absolutely appreciated. First of all, ladies has different uh, values and talents than men. And on the other hand, they love the European mindset. And when you are a mother, as you know from your experience, and a business lady, it's a type of double power, if I can say that. So I, I remember when I had a child or when I was a, uh, just a wife, it has a difference. When I became a mother, I got a double respect not just being businesswoman. And um, I think it's, it's, it's just a little bit easier to be here as a business lady than in Europe. Because somehow, I guess that the reason is that somehow the traditional values in this country is, I think, because the values are traditional in UAE. And this gives a power to families. It gives a position to family members. And being a lady and a mother and in addition to that, working manager, business owner, it, it just gives tremendous opportunities. I agree. I'm so happy that you said that because this is my opinion as well. So. Okay, so <laughs> we agree. I, I absolutely agree with you. Yeah, that's my point. Okay, and uh, did you ever face any uncomfortable situation here in the UAE or anything that was uh, very unpleasant? I can't remember. I have to think about it. Certain uh, cultural issues, maybe, like, let's say, an Asian person never seen uh, high heel shoes. It was a long time ago. Then uh, he didn't fix the, nice the heels. I know, I remember you reading remember this the story in the from book. the book. <laughs> so he cut the other side <laughs> yes, instead of fixing the first side. So yeah, it, it's, it was even, I think it was just funny, yeah, it but is not a funny uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know any. 
I really can't remember any bad situation. Definitely you have to be patient in this country because there are so many number of nationalities here. But it's an open country, so everybody is so happy and accepting others and the differences are well accepted. People are more patient than in Europe, I do believe. Yes, I agree. And uh, what is the most amazing or most uh, memorable experience that you have from the UAE? Definitely there are so many projects when we submit a tender or a competition and we win the project or meeting with uh, His Highness's special local powerful ladies or gentlemen. Difficult to pick one. Difficult question. Every day is a beautiful day here. So it's just very difficult to say one. It's really day by day you renew your energies. Definitely it's a you need a lot of energy because the the work is very fast here. The daily business life is very tiring. But at the end of the day, you are doing whatever you want to do, building your dreams. Next day, you have a fresh energy and you start it again. It's just every day beautiful here. Now, um, I have another tricky question for you. How much tax did you pay while you were uh, living here? Those days, we had zero. Now, no I'm learning. I hope I can answer it correctly. Personal income? That's the beauty of it. I'm talking about how much tax did you pay back in Hungary? If it's not well, I'm too- approximately. Sorry. Maybe 23. How much? How much in Hungary? Okay, Marco. So the answer is 35 <laughs> percent. 35%. This is personal income tax. Yes. So that means now you will earn 35% more. Because larger projects, larger scope of services, larger income. Amazing. And um, you have a beautiful daughter whom I love dearly. And uh, and I'm super excited that you are coming with her. And I'll get the chance to see her yes, often. Sure. Uh, so what is your experience as a mother regarding the education of the UAE? Because she was born here. She uh, started school here. So you have a uh, very good experience about it. Yes, since, since her age of three, she started the pre-foundation school, preschool, and in a British system, which is worldwide the best. And uh, there are many international schools but British, French, and American schools are the best. And what advice can you give uh, to somebody who is thinking and hesitating about uh, taking the jump and coming here? It depends on the location. I mean, that if they come from Hungary, it's definitely different. But uh, it is a much um, talent-oriented or talent-focused uh, type of education, either the British or the American. And um, I think it's much more welcoming community, very international. But the schools are, you just cannot compare because the Hungarian free education is whatever we experienced in our childhood. Everybody knows. And the British is, um, because our daughter is in British system, it is just absolutely, depends on, they find her talent. Mm. So they grow and develop whatever the child has the best in his or her skills. So I hope I described, but it's just amazing. Amazing. Yes. And uh, let's say uh, somebody cannot decide whether to uh, relocate to the UAE because of all the contradicting information he's receiving from the uh, our best friend, Google. Uh, so what is your advice? Because you have the hands-on experience. What is your advice to those people who who are hesitating about uh, whether they should start in the UAE or stay wherever they are? It is always a difficult question. The last six months, I was spending a lot of time in UAE. So I was half time in Hungary, other half time in UAE. And despite of my... 14 years of continuous life here and many connections since 2005, I couldn't sign a contract because I was an international businesswoman. But they were always encouraging me to be relocated here, to stay here, to be a resident of UAE. So somehow I would suggest that, yes, many international business people, they think that we need the first contract, then we establish the company. I believe it is the other way around. Because they respect you more if you have an Emirates ID. They respect you more when you have a local address, a local company. 
It can be free zone or mainland, any type of business solutions. But I do believe staying here, living here is the first step. I always tell my clients that first you have to be here. Exactly. And, and second of all, you, you know it very well. You never know when you get a phone call, right? Come and find me in my office from a very high level person. Be and then if you are in Hungary and get that phone call, what do you do? Like you cannot just jump on At the least plane. One day. Uh, when you are living here, you just jump into your car. <laughs> and you even drive yeah. 200 kilometers whatever, easily. Whatever the traffic takes. I encourage everybody to move here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for your amazing, insightful uh, views and answers. Thank you very much for the invitation. And wish you best of luck.